We saw uh, Royals 2.0 yesterday. We saw them drive themselves away, very accessible with the crowd. We understand there's no nanny at home, just one housekeeper. Are we seeing something in the name that tells us this, this, this is a new age of Royals? We're really seeing William put a stamp on how he intends to move forward. These are traditional names, they're family names, but they're not immediately all associated with familiar Royals. And so I think that way he's giving his child its own identity. Yes, there have been six previous King Georges, the Queen's grandfather and her father. The patron saint of England is George. Charles's middle name is George. There are lots of George references, but it's when we get to Alexander, three kings of Scotland named Alexander and of course that's where William and Kate met. The Queen's middle name is Alexandra, so a tribute to her. Louis is the most poignant one really for William and his father Charles. Uh, Earl Mountbatten was Charles's most beloved grand uncle. He was assassinated by the IRA in 1979, which was devastating. And so to see Louis included, which is William's middle name, was just a personal touch for Charles. Now, I, I was surprised that, that, that William and Kate said, no, we just like the name George. It had nothing to do with the Queen's father. I found that hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, yes. I think, well, in, in, in a way, George has become quite cool and trendy again. And so I think when they looked at the family tree, they don't buy a baby name book. They look at the family tree and say, OK, well, we like that one, we like that one. Some of them are so old-fashioned, a poor child would be crucified in school for some of the names. George is still cool and trendy and fun, but it's paying tribute. Actually, George is the 12th, believe it or not, the 12th most popular name in Britain. One more reason to stay in the United States. Um, <laughs> well done. Uh, I... Is there anything that goes on where there's some type of informal protocol with the Queen where ahead of time they kind of run names by her or is she finding out about it like everybody else is? The Queen went over to Kensington Palace this morning primarily to meet her first great grandson but I think William he runs everything by her when it comes to the monarchy and how he does things and and matters of state and I, he would have run the name by her she's not a tyrant she likes the family to make their own decisions she'll say if she thinks you could have handled something better but she will have been touched that they ran it by her first. Let me be skeptic for a second because on, I'm a branded then. guy and okay. it's very very clear, and not that it's not genuine or authentic, yeah. but it's very, very clear that they want to be more of the royals of the people. But am I to believe right now that there is no nanny there, that Kate is getting up in the middle of the night? Is that Seriously, I, I mean, <laughs> is that really possible? I mean, be one, I'm not saying great either way, but is that really happening? Right now, certainly it is. They're, it's inevitable. They've got to have a nanny at some stage when they get a full royal life going again. But Kate's from a normal family. Her mother was waiting for her when she came home from school. They're keen to at least give it a go themselves. But having said that, they have gone home to Kate's parents' house this weekend, so Grandma Middleton, I'm sure, is helping out. Okay, Victoria, thanks a lot. Great.